all is well and really all everything that we can think of or feel sense project to the future ideas about the past everything is resting naturally in the complete ease of being and to base our life on the ups and downs of our thoughts and emotions is being on a crazy roller coaster of reactivity towards ourselves and then sometimes towards others and then to put uh, like the major task in life you know uh, to have it as needing to fix ourselves so we have only positive experiences only positive thoughts and emotions it leads to such a struggle the greatest war humanity has ever seen and it leads also to uh, if we are successful in that uh, through different practices and methods of like quieting down and you know appeasing and managing our data streams our thoughts emotions sensations and experiences to some kind of a flat line of no thinking to in long periods of time or so just positive thinking it leads to such great neutra neutralization of our innate potency and power to be of great benefit and for sure if we don't know better th this seems like a good option I don't want to think negative because it affects the way I am my moods my relationships so I'll think a bit positive or try not to think do you know any of these methods okay after all we are in Goa and uh, and for me that was also a big struggle my entire focus went on uh, thinking all day about what am I thinking and what am I feeling and how it should look different in order for me at one point in the future to be happy and stable and I thought you know growing up that maybe okay teenager I knew hormones and the the surge of sexuality and all of these things I thought okay after this age I'll be an adult and and I'll know what to do right no <laughs> it didn't work like that I finished 18 and then I, I started uh, different things but still uh, the roller coaster continued just with different descriptions but there was no resolution there was no sense of really coming to a place of stability of clarity and not just sometimes clarity and stability which of course I experienced in my life but what we are talking here is always on clarity and stability innate joy and peace that does not depend on what we think and feel and I know it sounds revolutionary some people say it sounds too good to be true and I say so what I also didn't believe that it's uh, possible to be like that and I thought in order to be in such a state you need to be like you know live one million lifetimes and maybe meditate for three million lifetimes and and maybe then by the grace of who know what I will receive a moment of like, ah, that's it. I don't think anymore. I'm so this. I don't have an ego. I don't have a mind. I don't have this. Look at me. I'm so blissful. So this was my mission. And of course, guess what? I'll f I, I failed again and again. And we are failing constantly when we are basing our stability and happiness on our thoughts and emotions. So this needs to be clear. Now, what's the alternative to that? First of all, we need to know what lies in the basis of all of these thoughts, emotions, sensations, positive, negative and neutral that are constantly changing. Otherwise we don't know what to rely on. We can rely on, oh I really know now, but I know with any action with a and especially with major life actions and or decision making it was really confusing because suddenly I felt, yeah I know, I know, I know. That will lead me to positive states afterwards if I move or act in this way. And then after doing the decision, guess what? Thoughts and emotions continue by. Oh, that was the wrong decision. Why did I leave or why did I change? And the roller coaster continued. And so to know what's in the basis of that is to be introduced directly to our own intelligence, our own awareness that is always on, forever open and free. And to do it very directly, just stop thinking for a moment what remains openness alertness cognizance the power to know what's looking through your eyes this is open intelligence and then when we have thoughts coming back in emotions sensations memories what we can see is that open intelligence is what's at the basis what allows us to know all of these things otherwise we wouldn't know that they are coming back 
And this points and shows us very directly that we have a profound and most important choice in every moment. We can continue on on the roller coaster ride, meaning indulging our thoughts and emotions, our data streams, it's there because, 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 and that's why it happened, it happened, it happened again and again and again, and, ag and we carry li life with a story and it's so heavy and we tell it to everyone we meet or at least to ourselves. Did it lead anyone to happiness or relief or release or just perpetuating storytelling? And then avoiding it, avoiding people, places, situations, thoughts and emotions in order to not feel in a certain way. And replacing, that's what I shared initially about uh, taking something that seems real and negative like anger or resentment or confusion and then saying, trying to improve it by changing it to something else. Happy thoughts, happy emotions, happy sensations flat line of <laughs> neutralization where we are not really clear maybe we feel less anxious but really we live a very uptight li life it's an uptight life where we need to control the thoughts and emotions we have on a moment to moment basis otherwise we feel like we will go out of control and it can be very scary but once we are introduced to open intelligence uh, that is in the basis that's the source of great stability that does not depend on this roller coaster and actually what we come to see in our direct experience that the ups and downs and in-betweens are inseparable. The data streams are inseparable from this bright, clear and open, vast expanse of our intelligence. They are not two things. Like the color blue and the sky are not two things. One doesn't need to ma manage the other. Okay, be less blue here, less the sky here and then we merge somehow. It's already the case. Everything is completely unified like that. And that allows us to recognize open intelligence on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And this is the practice of balanced view. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until open intelligence becomes obvious at all times, day and night, where the instinctive rec recognition of the brilliance of our mind, our capacity to be an optimal human being is obvious to us all of the time including and especially with negative states and also with positive states but it's nice to say negative states because that usually seems the taboo of like I'll be happy once all of this list you know I came to the balance view training with a list of things that I need to eradicate in order to be happy my past my ego my karma my uh, you know the relationship with my parents the this the that I, the list was so long I was like <laughs> you know, coming to the Balanced View training, like, <laughs> you have lots of work to do here. But then um, no one looked at me as though I was a victim of my data streams. This wasn't at all the atmosphere. And I was surprised and I was intrigued. And then I did the 12 empowerments and I saw that the list disappeared. Doesn't mean that my thoughts, emotions, sensations and other experiences didn't continue to shine forth. But I knew what to rely on. I knew I'm not a victim of it. I knew that I'm not going to waste my life describing my problems to myself and others. And believe me, my wife is so happy now. <laughs> <laughs> As my parents and everyone else I meet. Because I'm not like the one who's like, depression, depression, what do we do now? Let's speak about it. It's like, okay, depression, a great reminder to take a short moment of complete relaxation and allow the data stream to self-release. Allow it, just like a line drawn in water, self-release itself. We don't need to do anything about it, right? For me, it was revolutionary because I was like, okay, depression, great. Okay, not a big monster anymore. Actually, a great reminder of the potency of open intelligence. So you see in short moments many times, this is, this what's, this is what is coming about greater and greater confidence in the stability that is innate it's our birthright you know it's just by the brainwash of everything around us that we believe that somehow we are flawed and we needed to be fixed and we are broken and what what are the indications that we are broken because we have negative thoughts that's ridiculous friends that doesn't make any sense and i believed in that very much so but yet during the 12 empowerments i realized that negative states positive states and neutral states are inseparable from open intelligence and thus I can be happy all of the time.
<laughs> it's a matter of choice. I can enjoy complete freedom in immediacy of perception and complete perceptual openness in all experiences. And for someone like me, it's a very lucky circumstance because most of my data streams are negative. Still. <laughs> <laughs> After 11 years in the Balance View training, <laughs> God. When I, when I imagined completing the 12 impairments, which is the foundational course of Balance View, I imagined like how it will be 11 years after. I didn't think I will have <laughs> negative states. I imagined like this, you know. <laughs> but, I f but, uh, but, but reality is far greater than that because I don't depend on whether I have negative states or positive states. I'm free. And this is what we really want to know. And that's the clarity that comes about, you know, why did I decide to move my hand in this direction and not this direction? What led me to do that? Why did I say this word and not the other thing? When we start to think about it, it's like, take me out of here, please, quickly, because <laughs> it's confusing. When we rely on the most vast intelligence available to human beings, then decision-making actions, everything is geared towards the benefit of all. We are clear and we are undistracted. Things that used to distract us all the, the while, you know, media, likes, uh, sex, uh, things, uh, cats. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have to say cat in every single talk. <laughs> I love cats, by the way. Um, all of these things, then we get confused by that because we don't know what to rely on. Yet everything is included in open intelligence, so I can still love my cat completely. Yet my, this love is all pervasive and that's y maybe the sadness, you know, because we grow up in specific cultures as well, like, you know, make your family, bring the children to the world, then only positive data streams will come about. Speak with the parents here, uh, speak with my parents <laughs> <laughs> and they will tell you, no, it's not only positive data streams, but there is the image that once we nail all of these things, you know, we do the tick the boxes, then happiness will come about and suddenly we see, not really. Not really. It's, it's a mix of positive, negative, and neutral. And then from the vantage of open intelligence, then we can really allow ourselves to be as we are and enjoy fully these relationships with people without holding on to them as though this is the only thing that will bring me happiness. Like squeezing an intimate relationship to provide positive, positive, positive data streams. <laughs> and when it doesn't happen, you know what happens then. <laughs> fights and, and fights and, and, and fights. <laughs> <laughs> or repressing your thoughts and emotions because you're supposed to be such a good couple all of the time and everyone will see how happy you are. And yes, that's, that's the case for <laughs> sure. <laughs> and it doesn't happen and it's a bit distressing. So, wow, moments of complete relaxation and using all of this clarity that comes about moment to moment, for me it improved all, all areas of my life. N none left out. None left out. My ability to m take decisions, to be in full relationships with everything and everyone, this is something I didn't imagine at all. <laughs> and again, I just want to remind you, it does not depend on the types of thoughts and emotions I have. This is not the case. And if you would know what I think and feel on a daily basis, you would be like, what's wrong with this guy and why does he speak with me right now? <laughs> <laughs> I speak with you right now because I know what, what's true. <laughs> and I know that it's not only the case for me, it's for thousands of people throughout the world, around the world, who are make this powerful choice to be empowered with the power of open intelligence, with their own intelligence that is filled with great benefit always. And to gain confidence in that, that's the priority. And that's how the results and the shining of <laughs> all the people you see around you, uh, that's how it comes about.